Hello, this is Tommy Manchego with Dimensional. I'm going to be showing you how to set up an ODBC connection in Windows. This is Windows 7 and I will be setting it up with SQL Server, but you can follow these steps for any type of server you have set up. Uh, one of the first things we need to know is whether or not we need a 32-bit connection for the ODBC or a 64-bit. Uh, you can read my blog below and it will tell you exactly these steps if it's hard to follow along. So first of all, I'll show you how to get to the 32-bit ODBC connection. I already have it opened here. And you can see the directory here. That is also listed below. And you want to click on ODBC AD32. So this will bring up your ODBC data source administrator and this is where you can start to begin to add new sources. But today I'm going to be using the 64-bit. So I'm going to close out of this. And in the search programs you can just type in ODBC and it should be Microsoft ODBC Administrator. Although this looks similar, it is different, so be aware of how you open this up. Alright, so now we're going to start connecting. So I'm going to hit add here, and we need to choose our data source. Mine is a SQL Server. I'm using version 6.0. I'm going to click finish here. And now we have to name our source. So I'm going to name this demo ODBC connection. Description, you can name it anything you want. We'll just call it demo. And then underneath the server, you actually type in the URL for your server. Alright, you're going to look at that, make sure everything's okay and hit next. Now for how my server set up, I'm going to do with SQL Server authentication using a login ID and password entered by the user. I'm going to change my login. Okay. And we need our password. And this is all set up server side. I'm going to click next. And here you can change your default database. Uh, you, you can change it to anything you want. I'm just going to leave mine as default. And you can read through these if they, if you need to change them, go ahead. But I usually leave them default for this purpose. Once again, just go ahead and check everything looks okay. I'm going to click finish. Now you get this screen that gives you all the settings you checked and also your server address right here and I'm gonna go to test data source click there and we see test completed successfully click OK click OK and here we go we're done there's a demo ODBC connection right there and that should do it